Hi, the purpose of this video tutorial is to familiarize you with Visual Studio. Visual Studio is what we're going to use to edit scripts. Um, right here in my project window, I'm just going to delete that script for a minute. This is where any files in my project would show, and here is one script we have, a cube script. This is, I pre-wrote pre this one. If I wanted to add a script, just like anything else, I just right click, create, and pick what I want to create. I'll make a new script file. Here is my chance to give it a name. So I close my script. Okay. Whatever name you give your script file, that's going to have to be the name of your, your class inside the script file. All right. So right now I'm going to double click on my script. And that brings me to Visual Studio, a script editor that I've selected. And you can see up here, using, the using statements are telling the script um, different functions and library classes it could bring into use. And I don't have to write the code. It's just already written for me. So if I, here I'm using the Unity engine, that will give me things like the input class, dot, and I have all those methods. It'll give me things like um, this, meaning the cube that whatever the object is, I have attached the script to this dot. And I could have all the methods like transform and everything like that. Um, so not all the code you have to write. Some of the code is already written for you and you just have to use it with these using statements. So like I said, the name of the file, my script, and the name of the class, they have to match um, in Unity, when you make a script in Unity. Um, over here, this is going to be where it shows the name of the script. And if there's a little star, that means that the file has been changed and not saved. So to get rid of the star, I just basically save the file. And that, that'll save the file on the hard drive. OK. If I go back to Unity and I open up this other script, CubeScript, this one has some code I've written in it already. Then in Visual Studio, there will be a tab for each script that's currently open. And I just click on the tabs to switch between the scripts. Or over here in the Solution Explorer, I could click on the file to open the script. Let's see what else we got here. Um, these icons are save the file that I'm currently looking at. And this double save icon means save all the files that are currently open. It will save cube script and my script. And I could always press save. Even if I didn't change anything, it'll just check and save everything. So I usually press um, this double icon to save all. Um, what else can I show you here? Say, you know, you have scripts and there's like a lot of files with a lot of code and you want to kind of remember where a spot is in a line because you're working on it. I could click on this over here. It looks like a ribbon icon and that's called a bookmark. And what a bookmark does is it's just going to remember this spot, kind of like if you stick a bookmark in a book. And then over here in this other file, I also want to remember something over here. Just want to remember that spot. I could put a bookmark there too. You know, then to move through my bookmarks, I could use these two icons. Let's go to the next bookmark, and bam, it brings me right to that spot. And I can go to the next bookmark or forward and back. And say I'm done doing whatever I was going to do with those bookmarks. Um, I want to clear them. I could just press this icon over here with the X, the ribbon with the X, and I could clear all my bookmarks. Say yes. <clears throat> now, say I'm typing code. And I'm doing like a, I just want to show a message on the console window over here, like the bug dot log. And I'm going to say, hello world. And I uh, finish typing that line. And then I kind of want to build the code. I want to compile the code from, I could just say build solution. And down here in the output window, it's showing me that it's building. But then the errorless window shows up because there's an error. When I typed over here, it says where the error is. 
the bug does not contain a definition for LOF. I could double click on this line and it brings me to the error here. And then a helpful thing is if there's like a syntax error, like I type something wrong, Visual Studio usually puts a squiggly, it puts a squiggly line under the part that's wrong. That's one way to find an error. And this is the, um, the errorless window to show errors in Visual Studio if I use the build button to build the code. The other way is I leave this error here, I go into Unity, and then when Unity processes the, the, the changes I made, did I save? Yes, I did, there's no star. Unity processes the changes that I made, it will show any error, it will show an error here too at the bottom of the screen on the status bar. See, it's the same thing. Unity engine.debug does not contain a definition for LOL. And I could double click to bring myself again to that spot of the file with the error. So I could, I could correct this error. Now I have debug dot. And when I press dot, it shows me all the different methods that I have. And I'm going to use the log method. And then from the log method, I could put a parenthesis. And it shows me the different versions of the log function. Here, I could just give a message. Or I could give a message under context. Those are the two different ones. So I'm just using the give a message one. Let me take out the parentheses. So the give a message one, hello, <coughs> hello world. I did misspell hello. But, you know, to the computer, that's not an error. I could put whatever characters I want between the quotes. Okay, and it'll still work. And I could try to do a build here, see if there's any errors. So the output window shows the progress of the build. And if I see this line here, where it says build, succeeded, zero failed, that's the good thing. This code compiled. So there's no syntax errors. I didn't type anything incorrectly that the compiler doesn't understand. And if I go over here, um, this is just a warning but there's no errors, okay? Um, what else about this window, Visual Studio? Did I tell you about the comment, the comments? Um, comments are a way that I could go in the code and if I do slash, forward slash, forward slash, anything I type after the forward slash, forward slash, the compiler is gonna ignore. And it also turns the color of text to green. So this is what I use for comments. Sometimes I need to I put comments in the code to explain the code or to um I don't know. I I could just usually that's what people do. They put comments in the code to say what a part of the code is going to do. So it's easier to read the code. So if you want to add comments, you do this. But it's in um, C sharp. As soon as you press enter, the comment command is gone. So you have to stay on the same line if you want the comment still to work. Um, then another thing I could do with the comment, the comment icon over here. This is to comment something, and this is to uncomment something. So sometimes I could be working on a function and. I may get rid of it, I just don't know for sure yet. So I could take the whole function, highlight it, and I could press the comment function and comment out that whole function for a moment. And then if I want to bring it back, I could do this. So if I comment out a function, it's like that function will not be processed by the compiler anymore, it's just text. And then I could uncomment it to bring it back. Mm -hmm. um, so I did save, oh, here's something. The undo buttons, I guess if you use computers, you probably know what the undo buttons do. They work like um, if I was typing something, mm -hmm, comment one. And then I press undo, Boop. it'll take away the thing I just did. So I can go comment one, comment, Two. And if I press undo, and I press undo again, and I press undo, it's kind of a way to go back and undo the things I've done. Um, and basically, when I'm coding for Unity, those are the things I'm doing in Visual Studio. All right.